If a bucket of paint falls on a man's head, that's funny. If the bucket fractures his skull at the same time and kills him, that's not funny, it's tragic. And yet, if a man falls into a sausage machine and is sold in the shops at so much a pound, that's funny. It is also tragic. So why is it funny? I don't know. But what I do know is that somewhere within this very difficult area lies the secret of all black comedy. The play you're going to see now is one of those blackish comedies, and thanks to the presence of two famous stars, it's come out a good deal funnier than I was ever able to make it on paper. Lady Turton, who ran her husband's newspaper, Empire, as aggressively as she ran his house in Norfolk, didn't know that Sir Basil had invited an extra guest for the weekend, John Bannister. Gently. It's irreplaceable. Jack! Milady! Hello, my dear. What on earth is this tradesman's van doing at the front? It's my latest acquisition. It's quite wonderful, Henry. Basil, what will my guests think? Oh, really, Basil, you've no style. No style at all. Good evening, Jelks. Uh, good evening, sir. Who else have we got for the weekend? Hardly anyone, sir. Yourself and Miss Carmen La Rosa and a young friend of Sir Basil's, I believe, sir. A young chap blocking the drive. Very really possibly, sir. Good looking, is he? Presentable? Bit of young blood? I have no idea, sir. You'll find Lady Turton in the library, sir. Thank you. Send up my bags, will you? I'll change first. You made it. Good. Well, what do you think? She's just arrived. I like it. She looks better than when we saw her last in the sale room. Don't you think? No comparison. Oh, I realize I paid over the odds, but we couldn't let her go to Dusseldorf, could we? Anyway, I had to have her. She fills a real gap in my collection. I like the way he's used the natural grain of the wood. Uh, don't tell Lady Turton that. She hates what she calls art talk. Can't imagine what he was doing, young idiot. Oh, a young man in a sports car. Park his pedal car over the drive. I uh, blasted him with my horn. <laughs> <laughs> Jelks tells me he's Basil's guest. Hmm. I say, does he ride? Oh, we'll have to see. If he's Basil's guest, he's bound to be a drip. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
now. I take that back. My dear, may I introduce John Bannister? We happen to meet at Sotheby's. Oh, Basil haunts that place. Every honest penny I earn, he spends on art. How do you do? How do you do, Lady Turton? Oh, Natalia, please. Basil, do get this presentable young man a drink. Come. Allow me, sir. Carmen John, Carmen La Rosa. How do you do? Are you horsey? Not really, no. Oh, then we won't have anything to say to each other. What do you do? I'm an art historian. Oh. oh, my God, how awful for you. Jokes, get me another martini. I've just met an art historian. <laughs> oh, I think you've met Jack, Major Haddock. In a way, yes. How do you do? Evening. Stupid place to leave a car. I was admiring the view. Don't we all? Basil, for God's sake, take our guest upstairs. I cannot stand tweeds after six. I can't wait to see you in a black tie. There's an admired view of the garden, sir. Bathroom in here. I'm aware of the flush, sir. It's quite powerful. Oh, thank you. At dinner at 7.30, sir. Thank you. Don't bother with the... Uh, no bother, sir. Well, that catch is rather tricky. I seem to have got the better of it, sir. Look, there's hardly anything to hang up. I just threw in a few things. Quite, sir. Just a weekend bag. Look, really, I'd rather you didn't, um... Do you play bridge, sir? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I do. Ah, well, then you'll be doubly welcome here, sir, believe me. They play a lot of bridge, do they? Uh, yes, sir, and poker and gin rummy. But Sir Basil prefers bridge. Now, I see you favor the modern approach to evening dress, sir. What? Snap on, snap off. It, it, it's a bit creased. You laundered it yourself, sir? It's drip dry. Quite. I can't wear man-made fabrics myself. I find the static electricity it generates inconvenient. One tends to give off blue flashes in the dark. That will be all, Jokes. Oh. <laughs> but your pumps, sir? Pumps? Your evening footwear, sir, they may require polish, possibly. No. No, they're fine, really. Very well, sir. I'll just leave you to it, then. Ah, thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, of course. I never accept emoluments, sir. No tips. If I might offer a little further advice, sir. Yes? It's simply that her ladyship does somewhat tend to overbid her hand. Thank you, Jokes. Oh, one further point, sir. At dinner... Yes? Her ladyship's right foot doesn't always seem to know what her left foot is doing. That will be all, Jokes. I sincerely hope so, sir. So what exactly do you specialize in as an art historian? Uh, the Renaissance. Hmm. Basil used to call me his uh, memling Madonna. But I always saw myself more like that. The telephone, my lady. Oh. oh, what a bore. Who is it? The editor of the Sunday Globe, my lady. <sighs> I am a slave to Basil's inheritance. Now his father. What a magnificent man he was. Basil, wasn't your father a magnificent man? Yes, dear. Very forthright. Like you. Mm, brilliant. Built an international newspaper empire out of the coarse fisherman's gazette. Such animal magnetism. Even on his deathbed. But does his son take after him? Well... The editor is waiting, my lady. He needs to know how many nudes you require for the front page of the Northern Edition, Millennium. Thank you, Jelks. I shall tell him to think big. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing woman, one. One for the book, eh? Yes. Tell me, what do you think of Basil's art collection? A load of rubbish? Quite the reverse. Ah, oh, I don't know what you chaps see in it. Well, for a start, it must be worth millions. Really, eh? Well, let's put the fear of God into him. Oh, 
Basil, haven't you finished eating yet? He is the slowest eater in the world. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Thank you, Jelks. Tell Cook the poached salmon was abominable. With pleasure, my lady. I know how she values your opinion. Well, what's it to be tonight? Gin rummy? Lyre dice? Strip poker? <laughs> Bridge. One spade. Three clubs. Three hearts. No bid. Three no trumps. No bid. No bid. No bid. Must you always bid three no trumps, Basil? But it makes the game so dull, so, so unadventurous. Not if one wins, dear. What's the idea, man? I didn't ask for another scotch. No, sir, but as things are looking, you may well need one, sir. Are you still losing? May I inquire the score, sir? No, you may not. In fact, Jokes, you can go to bed. This is our last hand. Very good, my lady. Mr. Bannister and I are 1,200 up, Jokes. How very gratifying, sir. Good night, sir. No go. It's all yours. We overbid Natalia. I've told you before. Oh, Jack. No post-mortems. You know I can't stand post-mortems. Basil. Since winning's obviously worn you out, I suggest you go to bed, too. I'm rather tired, dear. Oh, we'll settle in the morning, right? As a house guest, Mr. Bannister, you leave a lot to be desired. Do I? Hmm. Beating your hostess at bridge, Jack's furious, and then locking your door. Such ingratitude. Besides, I have a key to every bedroom in this house. All 47 of them. 47? <laughs> Striped pajamas. I'm cold-blooded. Oh. oh. And the bow. How sweet. How old-fashioned. Just, uh, think of this as your bread and butter letter, darling. Written in advance. Oh. Oh. Jokes! Forgive me, milady. I thought I heard an intruder. You are the intruder, Jax. Could I be of any service to you, sir? Um, no, I'm... Go away, Jax! Hearing strange sounds, I took the precaution of alerting Sir Basil, my lady. As a butler, Jax, you'd make a perfect baby minder. I hope I've been of some service, sir. I suppose so, yes. If I might suggest it, a chair braced firmly under the doorknob is quite the best deterrent. Her ladyship has been known to sleepwalk before dawn. Good night, Jokes. Good night, sir. When my father died, I was taken rather by surprise. Up until then, I'd lived a very quiet bachelor life. <laughs> and suddenly at 40, I seem to become enormously eligible. Young ladies appeared from nowhere. Oh, I bought that head last March. A Frank? Yes. And then Natalia appeared and literally swept me off my feet. All the others were rather miffed. She is very striking. Oh, and a wonderful head for business. Though, I must say she has rather changed the tone of our various publications. But well, the cash does roll in. Who is for a gallop? We're coming! Jack! Let her go. Did 
you sleep well last night? Yes, eventually. Jones told me he thought he heard an intruder. False alarm. Quite. Jokes is very loyal. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love this place. Every inch. Oh, <laughs> What's the dicky bird? Take one like this. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> Tally ho! <laughs> Shall we go down? Uh, it's very pleasant here. <laughs> oh yes, brilliant! Just like those things at the seaside. <laughs> How is it? Oh, it's bloody marvellous! Oh, idiot! Got you. How now, my proud beauty? Mm. Oh. Natalia finds everything so amusing. Oh, Jack, I'm stuck. You can't be. I am. Oh, rubbish. What goes in must come... What Jack, the... do something. Oh, flatten your ears back. I am not a horse, damn it. Oh, dear. Ow! Ow! Ah! 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 Ow! What is it? Natalia's stuck. Huh? We'll, we'll get something quickly. Butter, lard, anything. I got my fist stuck in a jar of boiled sweets once. Couldn't get it out. Finally, I broke the jar with a hammer and told my mother it fell off the shelf by mistake. Ow. I suppose we ought to help, oh, really. I suppose so, yes. Hi. Uh, cigarette? Uh, Virginia, this side, Turkish, that. I don't, thank you. I do. I think a Turkish. Uh, 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 what are you doing? Better take the jacket off. Oh. Go. All right. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, Come Jack. on, girl! No! Oh, Jack! I can't! It hurts! Oh. Ow! Oh. <sighs> what a stupid thing. It's not funny. Uh, no. Well, we'll just have to wait for Carmen. Oh, God. Now look who's here. Basil, get me out of here! What's the matter, dear? Isn't it obvious? Stuck a head through the blasted hole. Can't get it out. How odd. Oh. Uh, just for a lark, you know. Quite. A bit of fun, as it were. Basil, don't be such a damn fool! Well, it's pretty obvious we'll just have to break up this um, lump of wood. Surely not. No petroleum jelly should do the trick. <laughs> ah, you thought of it already. Allow me. Good. Well, you're not going to smother me in that muck. Basil! Keep still, dear. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, Basil! Oh, it's revolting! No, can't hurt, dear, if anything. Rather soon. <laughs> oh. That's right, on the ears. Uh, plenty of oh. ears. Oh, wow. Well. Dare you! Oh, this is so humiliating. Oh, Basil! Oh, look at you! You're enjoying this, aren't you? You beastly little rabbit of a man! Oh. I reckon my old ferret would get her, eh? Uh, uh, Stop and take her, that's the answer. Uh, Poor Maddie. <laughs> Try now. A good, strong pull from the hips. Oh, oh I must look ghastly. Uh, it's no go. Uh, we must straighten her out. You take the left leg. You two, come on. Now, 
Yeah. You take the net. That's right. Both of you. That's right. Up. Now. Ready. Steady. Go. I'm sure he's doing his best, Lady oh. Turton. Oh, traitor! Oh. Oh. No! Perhaps we should call the fire brigade. Oh, and have them see me looking like this. Ah, jokes. An unusual occurrence, sir. Quite. I presume it is the ears that are the main obstruction, sir. Could well be. They do tend to swell in moments of excitement. Uh, jokes. My lady? Uh, please. Do something constructive. We are considering ways and means, milady. Ah, oh, I said so. Chop the damn thing up. Chop up a masterpiece? No question, man. All right, Battle. Come on, get on with it. Your ladyship is right, sir. No time like the present, I always say. The saw or the axe, sir.